Welcome everyone. In our previous video, we have talked about the commutation. So, the process that we have talked about in the previous video is all about ideal commutation. Now, ideal commutation is something uh, that normally doesn't happen in a DC machine. Um, if there is ideal commutation, there will be no commutation problem. Now, um, what is the commutation problem? Now here, this is the last image of the previous video that we have seen. So I think we all know up to this. So let's see that 2i amount of current is going through A as the brush is placed just below A. Now, in, in practical conditions, this doesn't happen. 2i amount of current does not go through this A segment. The current which actually goes through the A segment is less than that of 2i and the residual current that flows uh, the residual current that is in the circuit flows through this B segment which is just touching the brush or just near it to the brush now this current ionizes the air gap between the brush and this segment and jumps across this portion so if a car if some current jumps across a section and causes ionization of an air gap then we call it sparking right and if this sparking happens this is due to a bad commutation now when does this bad commutation happen the back commutation happens whenever there is some load applied to the armature of a DC machine so the current gets increased and uh, more the current it will ionize the air gap more right now the thing is mm, what is reactance voltage the topic for today now if a current let's say i amount of current is flowing from one end to the other it requires a potential difference v so that the current can flow from one point to the other so here some amount of current is flowing from the segment b to the brush so there must be a voltage over here or voltage that is being created over here this voltage is actually called the reactance voltage this voltage is actually called reactance voltage now um, let's see uh, if this what is the value of this reactance voltage but or how this reactance voltage can actually damage our machine or DC machine or how reactance voltage is not good uh, for our machine and it is causing bad commutation and we need to reduce this reactance voltage now the formulation for this reactance voltage can be represented as V equals uh, L which is the uh, reactance of the field coils uh, multiplied by 2IA that is the total amount of current that is flowing through the brushes multiplied by time of contact time of contact means the time of contact uh, 
to the segment to the brushes the time of contact of brushes to the segment right so tc sorry tc is the time of contact or brush contact l is the reactance of the armature coil and 2i a is the current through the brushes no one thing to notice that um, what are the changeable values over here the voltage uh, is produced by itself so we cannot manipulate the voltage uh, this is unmanipulative but uh, here the reactance this reactance is between the coils right these are the reactance values so these are physically placed over the machine so we cannot change the values of reactance now let's place a value for this i let's take this value as uh, let's say 1 ampere or 10 ampere let's take 10 ampere 1 ampere will be a bit low uh, so let's say 10 amperes right so now this portion now will become l 20 divided by now the time of contact is very less uh, is very less it's near about 0 0.008 seconds right 0 0.008 seconds and so this is tc now if we divide this this value becomes very large this is a very large value um, so the voltage produced between these two points or v becomes very large so it causes a problem or this problem causes bad commutation or this is called the commutation problem commutation problem now what are the remedies of this commutation problem now one of the remedies um, of the commutation problem uh, of this commutation problem can be that can be physically done is if the resistance of this brush is higher if the actual resistance of this brush is higher so if the resistance of the brush is high then the current will not be able the current is low but it can, won't be able to pass through this brush right so that can be a solution high highly resistive brushes and we have already talked about talked about the armature reaction in our classes that uh, due to armature reaction this sparking happens or armature reaction due to the increase of load the armature reaction happens and this current becomes higher and thus the voltage also increases right so second condition will be the solution for the armature reaction the solution that has been produced by the armature reaction mm, that is the use of brush shift 
although brush shift uh, does not work in case of bad commutation. as well as it is a manual procedure thus it is not used in the recent scenario and number three is the use of interpols and number four is the use of compensating windings windings right so if we if you want to know uh, that how interpoles and compensating windings <coughs> can reduce the armature reaction that is not provided in your lecture notes uh, if you want to know that again just let me know in the comment section of this video and uh, I'll try to make a video on interpoles and compensating windings. So that's it for today. Uh, let's hope to meet in the next class with a new video. Stay well. Stay safe.